Welcome to this Germasoft screencast about VDCF. This screencast covers the download and install and setup of VDCF on Solaris 11. There are other videos available about IPS setup and LDOM's deployment. Germasoft is in business since the year 2000. Our product is mature and in production use since 2006. VDCF is used to deploy, manage and monitor virtualized Solaris environments using LDOMs and Solaris zones. VDCF is a tool used by system administrators to install, configure, manage, patch and monitor Solaris. It supports bare metal LDOMs and Solaris zones. Use the same tool for Solaris 10 and 11 for both platforms Spark and x86. To install VDCF you need a Solaris 11 server. For this demo a Solaris 11 system is already installed. If you have internet connection from your Solaris 11 server you can download the VDCF free installer tool. This installer tool downloads, installs and configures the product. You need to execute the installer as root user because the installer automatically adds the additionally required Solaris 11 packages. If your system can't access the internet, you need to download the packages from the Germasoft VDCF webpage. The manual installation is documented in the VDCF installation guide. The installer first downloads the VDCF products, then installs the required Solaris 11 packages. Afterwards, the VDCF product itself is installed. The VDCF setup configures an Apache web server which is required to deliver packages when installing new servers. To access the VDCF commands, you need to configure your personal user. Add the VDCF profiles and update your path and man path. Use man VDCF as entry point to find all the available VDCF commands. At this stage, the VDCF setup is finished. Now I would like to show how to integrate an existing Solaris server into VDCF. Each global zone is stored as VDCF node in the database. You can execute these steps on any system to which VDCF can connect. On the node, we first need to install the VDCF client package. The package add command does download the package from the VDCF web server. The update key command deploys the SSH public key to allow VDCF to connect to the node. You only need to execute these two steps on each node you want to import into VDCF. Now we are back on the VDCF server, where we execute the import operation. If you don't provide the required arguments, all the VDCF commands will display the command help. After a successful import, we can use the show operation to view the configuration of the node. We see the resources like CPU and memory and technical details like the OS patch level and the IP addresses. At this stage, you can deploy Solaris zones on this node using the vServer command or deploy LDOMs if you own a Spark CMT server. You find more information about VDCF on our product homepage. The whole documentation is available online. For users of the VDCF free edition, we provide help through an open user forum. For customers buying a software license, commercial support is available of course.